Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. When it comes to Trinidad and Tobago, the words coral reef have almost become synonymous with buckle reef in Tobago. But did you know that there are coral reefs around Trinidad? Marine ecologists say while the largest reefs off Trinidad can be found at Celebia Bay in Toko and around Shakashikari, coral reef communities can be found scattered along the east and north coasts and parts of the northwest peninsula. Coral reefs are home to thousands of fish and coral species and innumerable other marine creatures. They protect the coast from erosion and contribute to livelihoods through medicine, tourism and, of course, fisheries. They are said to provide over $300 billion in resources and services every year. But the reefs are dying. Coral bleaching due to rising sea temperatures and harmful man-made activities such as pollution all of which are being experienced here in Trinidad and Tobago. Enter the Habitat for Aquatic Life and Ocean Systems, or HALOS project, a collaboration with the UNDP Accelerator Lab and the Institute of Marine Affairs. I have been collaborating with various uh, colleagues across the globe who are also mindful of the importance of our marine habitats. And out of that, uh, that inspired us to, to create these uh, habitats and also bring to the forefront innovative technologies so that we could have less diving activities so humans don't have to go down and dive to see the performance of our reefs. We want to bring the newest technology and oceanographic equipment into our reef system using artificial intelligence to bring back data and let us know how our reefs are performing to rebuild the marine life in the area that they are deployed. The project is in its pilot stage and targets several challenges in the effort to rehabilitate aquatic life and support ecosystems. It breaks out the barrier of technology in that we're using novel technologies to try to get this, get this done. It also breaks down the barrier of cost because um, habitat rehabilitation and coral reef restoration is not cheap business. By using waste streams, we hope to reduce the cost associated with that. And finally, we hope to reduce the sort of siloism where the environment and the community operate separate and apart from so many other aspects of the, of the society. One area the project is hoping to have a profound impact on is fisheries management. Is how can we create habitats low-cost habitat with our technology to measure um, the performance and also give us insights remotely that could now um, act as uh, a new way of managing fisheries. Um, we are doing those experiments and bringing that in innovation to Trinidad and Tobago so that we could diversify our protein intake down from that 18% and create a greater supply of whether it's shrimp, lobster, um, uh, oysters, uh, mussels. A goal the pescatarians amongst us can appreciate. The project is being hailed as a successfully innovative model. In the coming weeks, we hear more about the implementation of the HALOS projects at Nelson Island and the expectations and plans for the project moving forward. I am Stacey Ann Providence, keeping it green for TDT News. Get into green with swim call. Come on, let's go, everybody. Say let's go. Charlie, the litter bug, and his minions hate when we dispose of our waste correctly. Don't be like Charlie and his friends. Make a no pollution resolution to reduce, reuse, and recycle your waste. Pick it up, pick it up, don't leave it on the ground. Pick it up, pick it up, and you know that it is wrong. Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, 
inspired by you. Everything adds up to less when you bundle with Flow. Save over $1,300 when you sign up for Flow's Everything You Need plan today. Get 300 megs internet, more TV and streaming options, plus 100 voice minutes. Visit us online or in-store for more details. Offer ends August 30th. Flow, inspired by you.